Rachel, good evening. It seems sometime this week or recently, this old dilapidating house behind me on Dartmouth Street has been transformed into an inner city wildlife refuge by some unwelcome guests. Although tonight, the city has a plan in place to outfox the intruders, which would end this unwelcome occupation. According to neighbors, this old house at the end of Dartmouth Street has been abandoned for years. As far as anyone knows, no one has lived inside in recent memory, although in recent weeks, many neighbors have spotted these furry intruders seemingly sunbathing themselves on the roof. I know there's at least two. I've seen two at once. Ted Conlon lives down the street. He snapped these pictures of the foxes that have now become the talk of the neighborhood. One of the foxes was looking out the window as if he was standing guard, as if he was the guard of Osgard or something and he's looking right at me and then he comes out the window and goes and does his thing with the other one. Although apparently cute and cuddly for many neighbors the freeloading foxes have become a reason for critter concern. Well mostly people's pets and stuff you know see I got a small dog here and I'm sure she could be taken out by a fox and my neighbors have dogs too so you know that's my main concern. Even though no one seems to know for sure how long these foxy critters have been living here it's certainly no secret how they've been getting in and out so easily. There are broken windows and wide open doors like this all around the building. So this property is your classic zombie property. Cohoes Mayor Bill Keeler says the city has been aware of tax related issues on this property for more than a decade. News Channel 13 has learned that the owner, Mary Krutka, died in 2014 and the county says property taxes haven't been paid since 2015. On Thursday afternoon, Keeler says a wildlife rehabilitator set up three traps on the overgrown property, each of them baited with a half rack of ribs. We've had a general fox problem you know, since the spring. Spring, uh, about a half mile uh, further up the hill in Cohoes, we live trapped three foxes that were up on top of people's cars and up on their porches, just being super friendly, not threatening anybody, but just, uh, you know, they were, they were too comfortable with humans. If and when they are captured, they will be relocated to the wild. I just checked the traps just moments ago tonight. The foxes remain on the lamb. Live in Cahoes, Dan Levy, News Channel 13. Rachel, back to you. All right, Dan, thank you so much.